Today, we will be comparing and contrasting CAM plants to C4 plants. We will start with the C4 plant. C4 means that the plant uses four carbon molecules instead of three. C4 plants use the carbon fixation pathway. The carbon fixation pathway is a reaction that takes inorganic carbon and produces organic compounds from it. Now we will demonstrate this process. First, a carbon dioxide is bound to a PEP inside a mesophyll cell. This makes the four carbon compound. Then, the four carbon compound is shuttled to the bundle sheet where it is decarboxylated, meaning the C4 compound is broken up into four different carbons. That is the carbon fixation pathway. Now, it's time to explain CAM plants. CAM stands for Crassylation Acid Metabolism, which is a complex carbon fixation pathway. Let's explain this process now. First of all, the stoma of CAM plants are only open at night because they normally reside in dry, sunny places. During the nighttime, the plant obtains its CO2 and turns it into a 4-carbon acid, malate. Then, during the day, the plant releases the CO2. This provides the enzyme Rubisco with a high concentration of CO2. All during this daytime process, the stomata are closed in order to reduce water loss through evapotranspiration. Now, Let's compare the two plants and show some examples. Our first difference is that CAM plants close their stomata during the day, whereas C4 plants only have their stomata closed partly. Another difference is that C4 plants originated in tropical areas, whereas CAM plants originated in deserts. Our last difference is that CAM plants retain a lot more water than C4 plants. Now, here are some examples of each. For C4 plants, we have crabgrass, corn, sugarcane, and sorghum. For CAM plants, we have sansevierias, pineapples, euphorias, and Crassula argenta. Thank you for watching our presentation.